Hey everyone, welcome to the tutorial. This time I'm going to go over fonts and how to use fonts within the text system that's available in Neos. This is a request from Hamish, who works at SHFR, and uh, they want to know how to use fonts, so here we go. We're going to hop over into Smooth POV and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create a piece of text. Um, if you're not familiar with the text system, I haven't done a video on that yet. If you'd like one, please do let me know. Otherwise, here's a developer tooltip. I'm going to equip it, go to the Create New Menu, and then go to Text. Word of advisement here is when you're creating text, just specify outline. You can change the outline later. If you specify basic and you want to add an outline later, it's uh, more difficult. So I always start with an outline and then remove it if I don't need it. The outline will add a uh, black, in this case by default, um, outline around the piece of text that you can control. Um, and it makes it sometimes easier to see in brighter environments or environments where there's a confusing background. When text first spawns, you'll see this little T here, and you can click that and edit something. So we're just going to say, hello, Hamish. And this is, again, just to set us up for this tutorial. Now I'm going to inspect this piece of text by selecting it with the dev tooltip, and then going to open inspector. And then on the um, piece of text here, you'll see a text renderer component. And this is what controls the properties of rendering this piece of text. But on the text renderer component, you'll see a font property. Inside that font property is a font chain. Don't worry too much about font chains. Font chains are a um, sort of a higher order component that... Uh, I, I don't know if, sure if higher order is the right term. Anyway, it's a sort of higher component that can list multiple fonts. I'm not entirely sure how it picks which one to use, but uh, don't worry about it too much. We will take a look at it later. Though. The uh, thing that you need to do once you have the text render open is to just grab a font and chuck it in that font box here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'll put the inspector to the one side and I'm going to grab my file browser. In my file browser here, I'm in a very nested deep folder um, within my computer that has a font in it. This font is called Zilla Slab. It is open font licensed and I will link to it in the video description. Um, it's important to remember that fonts, like many other assets, have licenses and so you need to um, as closely as possible, ideally completely, you need to follow the license as described. Many fonts will have a license that prohibits redistribution of the font, and Neos would fall under redistribution by my interpretation of the word redistribution. I can pull the font out of the piece of text that I find in the world using the inspector, and I can save it to my inventory. That's redistribution. So do be careful when you're finding fonts. This one is allowed for redistribution, so here it is. I'm going to um, select any of the font files here. Most font types should work. This uh, TTF format here means true type font. And if I just double click on this, it will import. And that's all we need with the file browser. Once it's in the world, you'll notice it's acting like a piece of text. And that's because each font basically is. I can pull this around. I could duplicate it. I can save it to my inventory. I can do everything that you might do with an item. So treat these like regular items. But once you have them in the world, just bring back the text renderer, grab your font, and then click into the font um, property of the text renderer, and it will take, and you'll see static font on Zilla Slab bold. And if we move this out of the way, you'll see that the Hello Hamish text is now Zilla Slab as a font. That's all there is to fonts, but I want to show you um, a public folder that's available in the directory. So if you go to the directory, you will find a public folder called Google Fonts. I'm not entirely sure on the licensing, so please double check yourself. But you can find a bunch of uh, fonts here that are super useful. So there's Montserrat here, which is one that I particularly like. Um, I, don't rem I remember using it before on like some other projects, but I don't really remember why I liked it. Uh, so here it is. And again, I can just drop that into the Hello Hamish text, and you'll see it updates to the new font. If I go ahead and duplicate this piece of text to two pieces of text, we'll change the title here to be Hello Potato. And we'll inspect that. I could then set the top one here to be back to Zilla Slab, and the bottom one here is still Montserrat. And that's because each um, text can have a separate font on it. The final thing to note is that if you create a piece of text by default, it will use the font chain, which I talked about before. And the font chain is on the root here. And so you can go up here by clicking this up arrow. And you'll go up to the uh, font chain on the root, and you'll see it here. And you'll see here that there is a main font property. You can overwrite this with any font. And the effect of that is that it will replace the font. Um, let's grab Zilla Slab on everything. 
with this font. So when I do that, you'll see the entire world is now rendering in that font. This will include things like uh, tooltip menus. So you can see here it says click above my tool. That's now in Zillus Lab. If I open up this um, uh, the context menu, it's also in Zillus Lab. If I go to create new, this is in Zillus Lab. Anything that's in um, public UI will be affected, and that includes name badges. So this name badge is now in Zillus Lab. So I wouldn't recommend doing this. It may be do, uh, good to do it if you're um, looking to do something quick where you want to change the font on all pieces of text of in a world very quickly. Uh, I would advise doing that on individual pieces of text. If you know ahead of time before you're creating a world that you want to use a particular font, go ahead and create a dummy piece of text like this one, and then just copy it whenever you need a new piece of text in the world, copy it, and that way you don't have to set the font each time. That's it for fonts. I'll see you next time. That's a quick and easy one for you, Hamish. See you next time.